The equipment you'll need to perform reproducible jointing of DuraPipe HTA includes pipe cutter, chamfering tool, tape measure and pencil, DuraPipe HTA Rurfix solvent cement, cleaner and solvent resistant gloves. Whenever you're jointing using solvent cement, it's recommended to wear the appropriate solvent resistant gloves. It's important to make sure the pipe is cut clean and square. A wheel cutter is best for this job, but a carpenter's saw can be used as long as any swarf that's created is removed. A saw is often used on larger diameter pipes. Chamfer the end of the pipe using an appropriate chamfering tool or a coarse file. For optimal jointing, the chamfer should be approximately 45 degrees. The HTA chamfering tool can also be used for internal deburring. Measure the insertion depth of the fitting. Then add a known distance onto this measurement and mark this onto the pipe with a pencil. Once the joint is finished, this mark will show if the pipe has been fully inserted. Ensure the joint surfaces are clean and free from moisture. Then clean all surfaces, both on the pipe and the fitting, thoroughly with HTA cleaner using a lint-free cloth or paper towel. Before applying the cement, shake the container for at least five seconds to thoroughly mix the contents. Using the integral applicator, apply cement to the fitting and the pipe, making sure to cover all of the joint surface with cement. It's important to apply the cement quickly to enable assembly without excessive force being required. Immediately after the application of cement, push the fitting fully home onto the pipe and hold for a few seconds. Do not twist the pipe, but slight adjustment to the orientation of the fitting can be made immediately after insertion. Application of the correct quantity of solvent will result in a neat bead of orange cement around the neck which also acts as a visual indicator when inspecting the system prior to pressure testing. Using the previous mark, check that the pipe has been fully inserted. Do not disturb the pipe for at least 10 minutes. For full curing times, consult your DuraPipe HTA technical brochure.